Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day, bringing you episode 1 of Let's Play Industrial Craft 2. If you're in a hurry, hover over the red progress bar for chapters, and please smash like to show your appreciation. Today I will be going over how to get started with Industrial Craft 2, specifically with how to get sticky resin as well as how to get rubber. I will also share some of my pro tips within this mod and include information that I have not found in any other tutorial or guide here on YouTube. So if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Alright, let's get this party started. First we need to make an Industrial Craft 2 tree tap. I won't be focusing too much on recipes in this series since they may or may not be the same depending on the mod pack you're playing in. If this bothers you, please feel free to hit spacebar to pause the video whenever you need to take a closer look, and don't be shy about asking questions in the comment section below. With your IC2 tree tap in hand, next you will need to find rubber trees. They are darker than vanilla oak and most likely will have these spots for sticky resin visible. I would recommend harvesting all of the leaves for rubber saplings. as well as right-clicking all of these nodes for sticky resin. But be careful not to right-click twice. Yes, you might get an extra sticky resin, but you will destroy the node in the process. As long as the node is not destroyed, they will resupply themselves with more sticky resin in due time. If the trees are in the wild, go ahead and destroy all of the nodes, as well as gather all of the rubber wood and the rubber saplings. And then a pro tip. If your pack allows it, use a crook to harvest even more rubber saplings. And save the rubber saplings for extra rubber later when you create the IC2 extractor. So let's toss our sticky resin in a vanilla furnace to make Industrial Craft 2 rubber. And while this is cooking, let me show you how to make a manual sticky resin rubber farm. If min-maxing your setup is not a priority, go ahead and place the saplings with two block spaces in between free. That way all of the saplings can grow. If you have a form of bone meal, you can force the tree to grow, harvest the leaves, and then place the sapling one block away. This gives you access to all six sides for possible sticky resin nodes, as well as making everything just a little bit more compact. With each grown rubber tree, make sure it has between two to three nodes. If it has less, or more importantly, if it has none at all, cut it down immediately and place down another rubber sapling in its place. So here's another super pro tip. If the bottom one is a sticky resin node, or even better, if the bottom two have two on top of each other, what you can do is you can place a piece of dirt and then another sapling, and you can bone meal that to grow a tree on top of this. And let's see if I can do this pretty quickly. Let's grow another one, since that one didn't have any nodes at the bottom. There we go, there's another node. Let's see, does it have a second node? Nah. That's going to be very lucky. It's pretty rare. Out of all of these, the bottom ones all had one, and two of them had two on top of each other. So I'm going to settle for this so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. We can get rid of this, get rid of that. And then if this dirt block bothers you, you can replace it with a piece of wood, and it looks like the tree itself. So then we have two at the bottom, it skips one, we have another one. And then of course we can continue this as high as you want to go. We can do this over again. Just planting trees on top of trees, that way we can get nodes on top of nodes.
Okay, so here we go. Every single one of these blocks has one resin node on it. And as long as I'm careful, these guys will resupply themselves each time I harvest from them. And then, like I said, you can fill in the middle with rubber wood, make them look like perfect uh, trees without leaves. You could even attach leaves to the top of it, make them look like trees again. Or uh, like what I like, you can put little spacers in between. Uh, dark oak has always been one of my favorites. So if you really, really, really wanted to, you could cut down all of them that are facing opposite directions and have all of them facing the same direction and make this one of your walls of your building. I really like this. I think that looks really cool. And you don't have to worry about having uh, rubber wood in between that is just taking up space. And then feel free to leave a vanilla frame nearby so you can quick draw. Pew pew. So let's see, how are we on IC2 rubber? I think we're good for episode two. What do you guys think? Before we end the episode, let's get some sugar cane down. And plant some crops for food. I'm thinking some potatoes so we can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You can continue eating raw fish if you want. Also, we're going to need a sweet base to keep us safe from all the creeper bros. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking this. Over here we can see our crops. Nice. Yeah, this will work. Now all I gotta do is mine a bunch of iron, tin, copper ore, and redstone for next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and guides on modded Minecraft, as well as a new episode of modded Minecraft Let's Play every Sunday at 11am.